So last night was a shocking outcome. Gonzaga was 30-0. They'd rolled through the tournament. And I thought we'd take a look back at uh, just surprising finishes, fights, series, games. And you look back, we, we could have done 30 of these, but we thought we'd take you back to ones that were more significant. So let, let's start with last night. Um, Gonzaga loses to Baylor. First of all, it's not that they lost. It's how they lost. The game was over in minutes. Gonzaga's 16-point loss is the largest loss by a number one seed ever in the NCAA title game. It was 9-0, 11-1. It was over in minutes. And with, with Baylor's defense, you fall behind by 11-12. to 12. The only way you're catching up is hitting threes. And Gonzaga, for all their talent offensively, is not a, a great three-point shooting team. That's not what they do. They score 40 points a game with their two bigs. So I thought it was a pretty surprising outcome over in like five minutes. How about the Chiefs losing to the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Never forget this. The Chiefs were 25-1 and in which games Mahomes had started. They didn't score a touchdown. They were favored. And they had faced each other in week 12. Mahomes had a perfect quarterback rating, threw for 465 yards, and they had a 17-0 fourth quarter lead moved at will and they could not score a touchdown and were flustered for four hours. Nick Foles beats the Patriots. Now think about that. Nick Foles is a career backup. They were a five and a half point dog. Nick Foles actually outplayed Brady. 106.1 passer rating. It was the most yards ever in a Super Bowl game. Nobody thought Foles and Brady would be the greatest offensive Super Bowl in league history. There were trick plays. Um, I mean, Eli Manning's going to get Hall of Fame votes. He beat Brady. Nick Foles outdueled Tom Brady. How about the 2016 Warriors? 73 regular season wins. This one I think we forget. 73 season wins. That's the all-time best record. That team, Golden State, started the year. Do you remember this story? 24-0. Okay. Veteran teams generally don't start seasons undefeated. They gradually move into it. The Warriors jumped out to a 2-0 lead in the series. And they're the first team to ever blow a 3-1 series league. I still contend this is uh, LeBron's greatest play in his career. That block against... Iggy, Andre uh, Iguodala. Just... It's one of the great games. In, and you know what was funny in that series? The games were all blowouts. But this, the second half of that game, may have been the best single half in NBA Finals history. It was the, remarkable. Oh, first of all, how tense was it? Yeah, I, I remember. I can go back to, like, watching it. God, it was just a... Steph Curry was... Oh, God, it was nuts. <laughs> how about the 2007 Patriots go undefeated and then lose to the offensively challenged New York Giants. First of all, that year, New England didn't just beat people. Their point differential was plus 315 points. They were the only team ever to go undefeated. And if you, I, what I remember about this game, in the very first series, New England tried, it was a reverse or a screen, and it got completely snuffed. And you had Strahan and, and Tuck and... OCU Manora and just New England's offensive line was overwhelmed. Uh, that and and that was a shocker. How about this one? About 15 years ago, 16 years ago, Lakers lose to the Pistons in the finals, and it was in five games. It was a blowout. Detroit Rip Hamilton didn't really have a star. The Lakers had Kobe, Shaq, Gary Payton, Carl Malone, and they were held under 90 points in four of the games. They were an overwhelming, prohibitive favorite in the series. Lakers' only win in that series was in an overtime game. Can you imagine that? Shaq, Kobe, Carl. God, Detroit was just gritty, played defense. All right, how about this? Tyson, Holyfield, too. Now, they had fought seven months earlier. Holyfield upset Tyson. Tyson entered the fight at that point, 45-2. and two. So this was the re- Mike Tyson redemption. Oh, no. Holyfield won the first three rounds. 
Tyson was so frustrated, he essentially quit. He bit Holyfield's ear. So Holyfield in the rematch, and, and I remember this thinking, okay, this is this is the no, it was worse than the first. Total utter domination by Evander Holyfield. How about the 1988 Oakland A's? They won 104 games in the regular season. Conseco had 42 jacks, McGuire 32, and Dennis Eckersley was the best reliever. And the Dodgers beat them in five games, routed them. Uh, at that time, Oral Hershiser was great. He won a couple of games in that World Series. The A's would go on to win the following year. Many believe, I was talking to Bob Costas recently, that was the most talented team top to bottom you know, you have to go back a long time. Like Tony Phillips hit ninth. He was like an all-star. It was like, it's a loaded team and the Dodgers didn't beat him. That was the Kurt Gibson home run. They beat him in five, flushed him right out. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.